all right guys what's going on welcome back to this channel so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you another simple strategy and why this strategy is very important is that when if you if you understand the market movement okay because i'm going to be sharing with you how to know or how to get that early information of market change in direction okay change in direction of the market and this is exactly what we help you when a lot of people will be pumping in money to a particular direction and you are doing the opposite right you are doing the opposite because you have already gotten the information on time so how do you not get this reversal information on time when people are buying you are selling when they are selling you are buying and people will be wondering how do you know that i thought we're supposed to be selling and you are buying and actually it went your way i think there's something you know that we did not know that thing is exactly what i want to share with you in this video okay so now simply we are going to be focusing on the trend right you know i focus a lot on trend so if the price is trending up guys okay if the price up this way okay so remember you are going to draw your trend line right so if the price should bounce to this level i want to ask you a question before you proceed with this video answer this question okay diligently okay be truthful don't watch this video maybe after maybe check whatever i'm going to explain before you answer the question i want you to pause this video now and answer this question i want to ask you so what are we going to be doing are we to buy or are we supposed to be selling which one i want you to answer i believe you have given your answer now in the comment section so maybe some people say we are supposed to be buying and some people say we are supposed to be selling so either ways let's see what actually happened whether you got the information on time or not now if you look here what we what we are going to be doing okay the the common thing traders will be doing is because you have they have seen already the, this particular move maybe they have they know about touches they have one two and this could be the third touch or they are counting from here one two and this could be the third touch right so probably people most of us we say we are going to be buying and also some apps might say we are going to be selling okay so but what exactly are we going to be doing what information is this, this market passing to us okay so i think this market actually is that is showing us okay um a sign of weakness among buyers okay you can see this high we have this high okay so look at the next high here and if you look here the high is actually forming a kind of double top right here okay so when you see something like this you have seen already a sign of weakness at this point that this price couldn't create a new high right when this price couldn't create a new high you're expecting something this could be a change of trend this is a kind of double top right there is a change of trend okay but you don't just confirm this you don't just okay now because the change of trend we are going to be selling here there are a few things i want you to check and what are the signal you are looking for i want you to focus on whatever that happened at this leg that the price is pushing this particular point the price is pushing to the downside okay i want you to focus there now on a lower time frame okay so what do i mean let me give you this the price is pushing up this way okay so at this point the price pushes this way and bounce back to this level so now you are seeing you are looking at this trend so once the price push all the way to this zone okay so what i want you to be to be focusing on is this particular level what is ha actually happening at this leg at the price push you know creating that uh, level you know trying to retest our trend line here what exactly is this price the retest doing so what you need to do is to go to a lower time frame like 15 minutes time frame so when the price is pushing off i want to show you what you are going to see on a lower time frame like 15 minutes time frame the price might push in, pushing up this way okay and you see some kind of retracement here price is also pushing up again creating a new high and you might see a retracement here then the price can equally be pushing up this way and couldn't break on a lower on, on a high uh, this is a lower time frame right so you have the first level here first high okay look at the second high so the third high now we're supposed to break couldn't break this so what you want to see on a lower time frame is that selling vibe you want to see the price start creating uh lower lows okay and lower that is lower lows to the downside by then remember you have a trend line this way which at this point you are expected okay to, because the price have touched maybe here one or here one two and the third touch so you're expecting to buy here 
but if you look at the lower time frame what the price is doing within this zone the price is also creating a downtrending market on that is a sub trend okay within that particular retracement you are having a downtrend so when you're having that downtrend remember the price have already given the price has failed to break the high right here okay which is a, a sign of change of trend or weakness among buyers okay when you have seen this weakness and within the trend you are seeing a reversal you already seen that confirmation you already seen the price start creating lower lows and lower highs on a lower time frame okay that's the point instead of you now buying you wait for the price to break that level and retest it and you sell instead of buying okay so let me clearly sh share with you an example of what i'm explaining so if you look here let's let, let me get a line okay if you look right here if you look right here and you see we have this point here one and we have two and this is the third touch okay so at this third touch we expect we are we are we are, we are going to be expecting the price okay forget that the price have played out before this price play play out you are going to be expecting the price to, to sell we are expecting the price to sell more to the downside at that point but look at the information the price have given clearly watch this price this is the point price created the low and created a high created a low but the problem now is that this low couldn't break or clear the previous low right so that is a sign of weakness okay which you can see as double uh bottom now when the price is pushing to the upside okay you want to be focusing on what is this price doing okay this retracement what you call retracement at this point what is the price doing in, on a lower time frame so you go to 15 minutes time frame guys okay so on 15 minutes time frame I want you to pay close attention to what the price is doing on a lower time frame, which is the 50 minute time frame. So look at the price on a lower time frame. So the price is approaching that level, okay, going back, creating this low, pushing up again, and the retest then. At this point, instead of you selling, you are buying. So you want to see the price clearly um, break, okay, break your trend line. And retest it so once the price breaks and retest your trend line you are to buy on a lower time frame so instead of selling why you know at this point people are going to be selling instead of selling maybe you have seen look, look at look at the, the fake signal right here you have seen a bearish engulfing candle so people are going to sell with this candlestick right here so instead of selling you are, you are waiting for a bullish engulfing okay which is something that happened here waiting for bullish engulfing at a retest so when the price retested that zone you make your entry using the bullish engulfing candlestick so instead of selling you are buying so at the close of this candle right here we are to buy here okay so that's how simple this strategy is okay simply identify on a high time frame uh when the price is actually pushing to the upside so at a point you wait for the price failing to break a high which is here okay and push all the way to this level then on lower time frame you want to see that bearish power retest and you sell okay so as simple as that guys so i hope this is helpful i hope you are going to try this out and see how these things work they are very simple price action strategy which you can use on any indices or currency pairs they are very simple and you can use them try them out back test them build confidence on this strategy and thank you later okay so that's that for this video i hope you enjoyed this let me know how you feel about this video okay uh and also don't forget to share this video so that this video will get to a lot of people who might be finding difficult to you know um uh, cover a, a strategy for themselves okay i'll see you guys in the next one Bye for now, guys. Enjoy.